because it's just so stinking cute. Events had taken a dramatic turn, had they? I did not play it before the voice acting. Um, I know some people, um, I think it was actually Jess. I think it was Jess who played it before the voice acting. And I think that's who either I watched or she talked about it because she demoed it. And then I think Lacia too. Lacia also either demoed this or talked about it. And then I was just like, well, adding this to the list. And I did. It is definitely my jam. It is definitely my jam. Oh boy, Jenny's head uh, buzzed with question. Who is the man in black? Who would want, who, um, who, why would someone want to kill my mom? Will Susie's explosives work? work? Can I find the jail before it's too late? Oh my God, this is so much pressure. Josephine played it, oh, there you go. The road ahead was fraught with danger. Why can't we use the word fraught more often? This game is so fucking pretty. Um, and Jenny would need all of her wits to survive. One thing's for sure. I'm going to need to be very quiet. Which means we should keep running in a graveyard. Susie! What the hell? Susie! Hi, Jenny! I'm here! Susie! And I brought snacks. I'm not sure if she played it before either. Hi, leading lady. Good morning. I could really go for a chocolate fraught uh, right about now. <gasps> oh! Also, we need to decide what I'm ordering for for lunch slash dinner today. This is a covert mission. Could but you also, draw any more attention to yourself? But also, what kind of snack? Susie is the best damn character in this game. Sorry, I just wanted to get here as quickly as I could. Does she have coordinated? Oh, honey. Did you bring the explosives? Of course. Et voila. Et voila. Now remember, explosives are incredibly dangerous. Yeah, thanks, Captain Obvious. <laughs> I got some pluots. I got some pluots. These are getting these are going quick, so I, I've been eating like two to three a day because they are going they are going quick. I gotta I gotta eat them. I gotta eat them. Y'all, they gave me like 15 pluots. Like, I, no joke. If you saw that picture on my Twitter, they gave me, like, fucking 15 blue outfits. Yes, they were, they got hidden. Sorry. I ran, I ran and got them out of the fridge, actually, before I went to the washroom. So. I have a container out of the fridge with beef teriyaki noodles. Ha 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 ha. Ooh, I haven't had Chinese in a really long time. I know teriyaki isn't Chinese, but that's where my, that, that's where my, my stomach jumped. It's a plum and an apricot. It's a plum and an apricot hybrid. A pluot. That is what a pluot is. There's there's quite a few of those hybrid fruits. Plums get apparently mixed with a lot of things. Famous kid? No, I said plums. Captions, you're high. Okay, I'm here. It's not even the right What's your. The big emergency, Susie. Keith is here. Keith is here. Oh, honey. And didn't. What is she doing here? I would say you didn't tell him that I was gonna be there. That's for sure. You came. You invited him? I thought it'd be a good opportunity for you to talk. During a covert mission, you wanted to get to the point of drama to the point of raised voices. Not the best choice, Susie. I did the right thing when it changed and then to the wrong one. Captions, please. Captions are trying their hardest. They really are. Now is hardly the time. I can't bear the idea of two best friends never speaking again. It's mm. too sad. What's wrong with you? I should go. No, Keith, wait. There was so much she wanted to say. But she had ruined the Dean's funeral, embarrassed mm. Keith in front of the whole town. Lots are 75% plum and 25% apricot. They have different percentages too, apparently. That's crazy. The pluots are pretty good though. Worse, she hadn't been there for him in his hour of need. She wanted to tell him all about the Dean's ring, the man in black, and the mysterious room buried in the forest. I don't think he's going to believe you right off the bat. But That's probably not a good idea. Bring his father back. That's true. Sometimes the right thing to say was also the hardest. Hmm. Apologize. I... I... I'm... Sorry. Poor Keith. 
Angry, grieving, conflicted. His whole world turned upside down. And the one person he most wanted to confide in, he couldn't. Uh. I really should go. Goodbye, Jenny. Okay, bye. Yeah. Well, that didn't go exactly as I planned. No shit, Susie. Are you okay, Jenny? We're gonna do what I do best. Susie, Jenny knew this was a situation of her own making. We, uh, let's just focus on the task at hand. I'm not gonna yell at Susie for that shit. Don't be irrational. All right, let's snoop before we go too much farther. It's almost like I've played video games before. What's my sticker? Ooh. You gotta snoop, snoop. You gotta snoop, snoop. I don't think there's anything else this way either. We just came from that way. I'm sure there's not. Okay, let's go. Ugh, locked. I'll have you to could break crawl in. under that. Are you kidding me? She says, then gets uh, spooked anyway. Listen. Or we could just wait for an adult. No. And let the man in black get to my mom first. No. Are you trying to sabotage everything? I just don't see why we can't tell the police what we know and let them sort it out. Because, Susan, the police are incompetent. I'm not putting my mom's life in their hands. And also, your mom's a snitch. Besides, for all we know, it could be an inside job. Mm -hmm. Now, keep a lookout while I open this lock. Okay, now that I know how this works. Susie is clearly an informant. <laughs> we were getting so close. It's all been a lie. It's been a sham. Hey. A big ominous gate. Bigger than I uh, initially thought. Are you coming, Susie? Into the graveyard? Let's do this. There's no time to waste. Oh. Yeah, of course. I'm just, um... Terrified. I think I need a minute. Why don't you wait here and keep a lookout? I'll go on ahead. I've got the radio if I need your help. That sounds like a great plan. Sounds Thanks. like a great plan. Radio me if you see anything suspicious. Especially if you see a man in black carrying a briefcase and a blue umbrella. Briefcase, umbrella, got it. I don't have time to be angry. We gotta solve some problems. There's no point lashing out at people who don't deserve it. Let's fucking go. Lock the gate behind me so no one suspects anything. Ooh. Keep out of sight. Here. It's a great don't idea. The explosives. Ooh, yes, I need that. Jenny had broken in undetected. Now she had to find the secret passage that led to the jail. I just need to follow the clues from the photograph. I'm coming for you, Mom. Journal updated. This kind of reminds me of, um... Stranger... Uh... Not Stranger Things. Um... Oh my god, what is that fucking game? What is that fucking game? With all the choices, you can go back in time and fuck things up. The guardian of the graveyard cast her stony gaze over the watching over the Life is strange. Thank you. Yes, that is the one. Summer. Life is strange. I can't hear people say updated my journal without hearing um, it in the Planescape voice. Why must everything in a graveyard be so creepy? 
Of course, this guardian had wings. It's not necessarily the things that are in the graveyard. It's what we associate graveyards with, which is why that is creepy. So therefore, we associate things that are in the graveyard to be creepy because of how we feel about graveyards. It's not actually that creepy. Beyond the fallen angel. Let's there do it. Lots of angels here. Which one is the fallen angel? Probably the one that's been toppled over. Or it looks like a devil. Those are really your two options. Ooh, multi-floored, multi-floored, uh, fucking graveyards. Not good. Not good. This is not good. This is a fucking mausoleum park. Are you kidding me? Ooh. The Strasbury Mausoleum. Amongst the fresh flowers was a note. Beloved father, educator, and botanist. Your memory will forever blossom in our hearts. Oh, that's very... Classy. Don't worry, Mr. Strasbury. I won't rest until I found your real killer. Okay, we have to spoop first, and then we can go up. We have to spoop or soup, snoop first, and then we They're can go up. The earliest settlers of Arthurton. Ooh. They kickstarted our great town's growth and prosperity. We have to snoop, snoop first. The note had read, look for the biggest cross. Quiet camp, the plan never went according to itself. Here rests Ida, please say hello. Jerome Braun, only his nickname was Floppy. Kendrick and Donna, happy as hippos from life to the end. Disco! Buried far below the ground where all the deepest grooves are found. God fucking bless it. Benito McDonald, art now and forever. Amen. No. Rocco, one great dog. Morgan M. Minsky, what goes up must come down. Edwin Tiong, trapped in the pursuit of which there is no escape. Brandon Liu, ran out of lives, but will forever impact ours. Game over. Matt, Neto King, Patinas, weird. Kevin Clark. Hazel Quantock. Surely all of the wonders of the world, um, of the world, the horizon is the greatest. Surely of all the wonders of the world, the horizon is the greatest. I like that. Uh, Michael V. Shaw Sr., husband, father, friend, forever in our hearts. Vacancy, rent to own. God fucking damn it. But none of these graves have crosses. No matter. Perhaps there were other secrets to find here. We got a sticker! We got a sticker. We got a sticker. Well, before we get too far, what a whoop. Hang on. Before we get too far, I want to snoop. I want to snoop. I want to snoop. We're going to snoop first. I'm going to snoop first. <gasps> Where are you telling me to go? How am I going to get up there? Well, son of a dingling. Okay, I want to go up the other side first, then we'll keep going down this side. I have a feeling we're going to anyway, but just to be sure. Yeah, that must be a Kickstarter reward. Ooh, that looks nice and explosive. We should blow a hole in that. Something's pushing against the stone. It looks like it could collapse at any minute. Yeah, we should push it farther so it does collapse. Ooh. Ooh. Four discs of solid granite with something carved into the face. It's all scrambled up. I'll just straighten them out. Yeah, you should. Try as you might. The discs wouldn't move. Boo! It's gonna look like a sword. We're gonna make it look like a sword. I'm so excited. Whoop. There it is. 
casually destroying a graveyard. Let's fucking do it. <gasps> I got a sword. I got a sword. I got a motherfucking sword. Y'all need to stop pointing at shit. That sword looks like it might move. Sweet. Okay, so we don't know what it's supposed to look like just yet. Let me guess. Uh, yeah, it's about to say. It's going to be our dad's. Hey, dad. <gasps> I would love a sword. Actually, I have I have a training. Um, I have a training katana, so I do. I do have a sword. Um, It's fine. I also have an Arabian rifle that doesn't work, but it looks really fucking cool. I can't stay long. Mom's in trouble. Mom's in trouble. Oh. Bokens are dope. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's not sharp at all. To be brave. But the past few days have taken their toll on our hero. And finally, it all poured out. You're going to make her cry? Everything's falling apart. I wanted a real mystery to solve, but I didn't think it would be like this. Dean Strasbury's dead. Everyone in town thinks Mom killed him, and Keith won't talk to me. They can be just as good as a bat. Mm hmm I don't know who to trust. And now someone is trying to kill Mom, too. I have to save her, but I'm not sure I can. Why did you have to go and die on us? It was a really crappy move. <gasps> I wish you were here. What if we move all the swords down? Yeah. What if we just did that? And a Spanish sword similar to Sean Connery's in Highlander. Nice. We're just going to move them all down. Maybe it changes on here. Nope. Okay. Now, okay. So we appropriately snooped. Now we have to go further down this way. For things to be scary. There's a scary thing at the end. Yeah, hi. What's up? That's it. That's all we got. So I gotta ask, why the GCN controller in the overlay? Um, I don't know. I First of all, I like it. Second of all, it was done by Modern Chow. And uh, third of all, because I'm playing with a controller, it, I don't know. It's on there because it's pretty. It's just smart. Wait, did I do something right? I dig it. Just curious. Yeah. Indeed. I 
I don't know if it was because of that particular one that I played with it that it did that, or if because I've already played with all of them that it did that, so. Hell yeah. Oh, we're so close. It might give it to us. Boom. Got it. Some days you just feel super smart. Jenny studied the stone discs. Now perfectly aligned. It's the face of a badger. That's unusual. Oh, it is a badger. These are very intricate. Hi, Battle Coder. It's great to see you. I see we gave more Nancy Drew today. Mm hmm. You know who's the cutest badger, though? Something Artful. tells me Ooh. this isn't a tomb. Ooh. I said it. Ooh. <laughs> Clip it and post it on Twitter. Fucking do it. I dare you. <gasps> it's the another huge coiling wires. Have it's another one of the thingies. Clear. The hulking metallic shell certainly did. This isn't a tunnel. It's the entrance to another laboratory. Let's do it. Just like the one in the forest. How many of these are there? Too many. Too many. The presence of such unusual and foreign objects in Arthurton begged even bigger questions. Who put them here? Yep. And for what purpose? Yep. It seemed to Jenny as if the graveyard itself had been built around the sphere. A perfect hiding place. I see I don't rake on the Hufflepuff cuties. Well, I was just going because of badgers, not necessarily because of hustle, uh, because of Hufflepuffs. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I was going off of badgers, not really Hufflepuffs. Oh crap! But as we know, all Hufflepuffs are cuties. That's kind of like part of their charm. So, I'm just saying. It seemed to Jenny as if the graveyard itself had been built around the sphere. Perfectly if perfect hiding place. If something could be so easily concealed. What else is Arthur hiding? So many things. I want to go in. Oh. Oh, we gotta hit a button. We gotta hit a button. Please don't make this reanimate corpses or make things float. I don't think we need floating coffins. It's not ideal. Not ideal, I'm completely honest. I wonder what the passcode's gonna be. Is it gonna be one, two, three, four again? Hey, hey, hey. Well, at least we know it's working. As a dozen intricate machines word to life, Jenny noticed a remarkable resemblance she had overlooked before. Some of this equipment looks like the stuff in Susie's life. I would agree. I can't believe I missed it before. That girl owes me some answers. I doubt that these are Susie's though, but they could be created by Susie's ancestors. It's another radio. Maybe these are used to communicate between laboratories. No. It was a hunch, but if it were true. Whoever's transmitting the message could be in another sphere somewhere in town. Ooh. All right, let's switch the polarity. Everything's going in the same direction. We got to decrease. Oh, come on. 
same voice as before. Yes, it is. Ooh, it's it. We're using. Do we? Do we have the book though? I don't know if we have the book. This code was different from the last. Just as strange though. Jenny carefully transcribed the words into her journal. Let's see what the hawk and the weasel have to say about this. Do we have? Oh, we do have the book. Hallelujah. All right. Bear 39. Okay, so this was a really cool puzzle. So this was a really cool puzzle. Um, so at the top of all of the pages are different stories and then included in each of them are word counts. So this is 45, this is 30, this is 16. So what we're doing is that we're going into the stories that correlate to it and then picking out the words. And that's how we are uh, transcribing these messages. So... Air 39. What is this? The rabbit and the bear. So then we need rabbit 17. And rabbit 60. 57, 58, 59, 60. That's everything on this one. A wolf and sheep, hawk and weasel. So now we need weasel 56. 60, 59, 8. Okay, and then clock 41. 36, 78, 39, 40, 41. Silence, despair? I'm not sure where I like this is going. Wolf. Wolf 24. My wound becomes infected. Sheep. I... Twenty six. And sheep sixty six. Forever. And then goose. Twenty-one. Purge infected. Soon mm -hmm. only death. Forever silenced. Despair herself is near. This is fucking ominous, yo. Purge infected soon. Only death forever. Silenced. Despair herself is near. Jesus. This message, as sinister as the last sent Jenny's analytical mind into overdrive. Is the man in black sending these messages? And the actual book is also not great. I agree. Thanks, I hate it. Purge infected, forever silenced. <gasps> Could that have something to do with Dean Strasbury? Maybe. It can't be a coincidence that I found a copy of the same book by the Dean's corpse. We still don't know what those purple veins were on his head. How were they connected? Soon only death, despair herself is near. Is that great? And now they're coming for my mom. What does she know that they're willing to kill her for? I don't know. We have to snoop more. We have to snoop more. This contraption was new to Jenny, but something about it caught her eye. This was the one that was broken in the other one. Hey, it has one of those glance crystals in it. Oh my God, why do I have to be so close? Oh, large metallic this is what the ring fits into. Carved into its surface. Okay, so we opened up. Okay, for anybody who hasn't watched this, this is convoluted. But we, the Dean Strasberry had a ring and we noticed it the first time we interacted with him. We took it um, from the crime scene because it was separated from his body and we didn't know that he was dead yet. And we, if I, it turns out that there are buttons on it and then when you open it up, it turns into like the seal at the in the movie the mummy when it like it like blossoms and then opens up into a key that fits into this spot 
pretty fucking great. Hi, Lazy Little Card. It's good to see you. That shape. Where have I seen it before? It's the ring, bitches. The Dean's ring. Yes. Stick it in there. Oh, is it gonna be the same? Oh, oh, it's gonna be different. Okay. All right. Of course, it's the last fucking thing I touch. You fucking bastard. Now, now you're gonna be in sequential order. You fucking rude ass fuck bitch. Haha! -ha! We have now entered the mummy. We are now raising Imhotep and Anax and Amun. It fits. Uh, and I hope you are ready for that. In fact, it fits perfectly into the slot, as though it were made for it. No fucking shit. Doesn't seem to be working. Probably just a loose connection somewhere. Could be an antenna, or maybe a power coil. But where does it get its power? A piece of rare Arthurian quartz, expertly carved and shaped with meticulous precision. Meticulous. It looks like the arm rotates around this hinge. I know. Ugh, We're I just can't budget. It's too heavy. We're just investigating. We know we need to go down to find the power supply. Calm down. Oh, one of the screws is missing already. I find that suspicious. Anybody else find that suspicious? Oh, this is, uh, okay. Jenny knew that the best way to fix anything electronic was- To mess around with it until all the lights come on. <laughs> Uh, oh, here we go. Okay. Detective didn't work we out. We found it. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Jenny had a promising career in machine repair to fall back on. Hey. Hit that button. What shenanigans are we doing today? What shenanigans are we doing today? my head. That's all I ask. Whoops. I could have lost an eye. The machine's true application would remain a mystery for now. For now. But whatever its purpose, the implications were overwhelming. Dean Strasbury is somehow connected to this place. Had the Dean been aware of the secret hiding within his ring? I have no idea. Whether he knew or not. We can't have conjecture on this. Because of it. Nah, I only ever use three screws. Was that mean that you've always sort of had a screw loose? Hey, hey, hey. Yuck, 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 yuck. Okay, anyway. Yeah, that's what I want to investigate. Investigate! Hidden amongst a web of cables, the average eye would have missed it. But Jenny LeClue was a great detective. Because we're snoopalicious. There's a book pinned beneath that cable. We're snoopalicious, baby. What's our passcode? Confidential. Confidential. The word was music to Jenny's ears. <laughs> we have to read this. We have to read this. Oh, shit. Entry 0001. This. Reminder, buy new underwear. Sounds right. At last, today we begin Project Excelsior, thanks to our wonderful benefactors. 
Side note, Nigel keeps mispronouncing my name. I swear he's doing it on purpose. It's Professor Zazer, like laser with a Z. How hard is that? Haven't we seen these doodles before? Zazer. Looks like there is a screw missing from the book too. Hmm. Standing inside my lab is exactly um, as I had hoped. Perfectly concealed is, um, it's a real thing of beauty. I call it the Jenny Zazer Sphere. Jenny recognized the name, but couldn't put her finger on where she'd heard it before. So this lab is his invention. He called it a Zazer Sphere. Well, Zazer Sphere. at least I've got a name. Yep. Is his first name CJ? Is his name CJ Zazer? Nigel thinks it's pretentious um, of me to name it after myself, but let's see him design a geo geodesic structure that can with that can withstand such incredible external forces. Uh, whatever we call it, we'll finally be able to study and harness the power of Arth Arthurton's greatest resource. These machines were built to study and harness the power of Arthurton's greatest resource. They were experimenting on the town itself. Oh shit. Haven't we learned? Who are the Council of Three? I hope the money doesn't dry up. Yikes. The Council of Three? Never heard of them. Sounds like he didn't know who they were either. But they paid for all of this? My guess is those are the people who founded this place and they like their secrets. And you know what I say to secrets? Ha ha! I will find them. Another sphere fully operational. The project continues to grow. Every time we start an experiment, we discover a new property to examine. Each result further supporting my theories. This town is special. That said, I find my time largely spent moving between laboratories. Um, I'm tired of managing, want to keep my hands dirty. A Ferris wheel. Ferris wheel. Oh, the irony. It's a Ferris. Ferris wheel. Okay. <coughs> Entry number 104. New lab idea. Toying with designs um, for a newer, much more ambitious, larger facility. He designed a bigger sphere. Bigger than this? Did he ever build it? And if he did, where? Reminder, ask Dr. Gray again for face-to-face -face time with management. Are they avoiding me? Starting to wonder if they even exist. If my calculations are correct, it should be capable of up to 1,200% uh, 1200, 1200 output capacity. This would propel us into a whole new world of possibility. Strange. Asked around. No one has met them. Who are they? Who are they? I like zooming out when I do this. There's a lot of pages missing in this. Well, you can't play tic-tac-toe with yourself. Uh, entry number 288. Terrible setback. Spotted an anomaly in the badger experiment too late. There was a badger on the door to get into this lab. This must be this one. So this must be the experiment he was talking about. Of course, Dr. Gray and Mr. Blue... I'm sorry. Of course, Mr. Gray and Mr. Blue... Is this Reservoir Dogs? Showed up just in time to witness the explosion. Uh, plasma everywhere. All units lost. Mr. Blue nearly lost an eye. Not looking forward to briefing, debriefing on Friday. This is going to set us back days uh, crossed out, and then it says weeks. Entry 289. Uh, days blurring together. Every experiment brings us closer to unlocking a seemingly impossible, unlocking the seemingly impossible. But the number of strange incidents in the lab continues to grow. Who keeps stealing my pens? The retro of this, um, the retro for that sprint must have been pretty awkward. Missing Mr. Blonde and Mr. Pink, to be honest, I would agree. All right, no more setbacks, uh, more unwelcome, more setbacks, more unwelcome interruptions. Exhaustion plus rush schedules equals dangerous conditions. <clears throat> Exhaustion, rushed schedule, dangerous conditions. The parallels with her father's own working conditions mm -hmm. were distressingly clear. Mm-hmm. Why did they insist we run the new test this weekend? It's just not ready. We need to enhance safety protocols and be vigilant to avoid any more contaminants or accidents. I'm starting to think that they aren't in this for the right reasons. Someone followed me home again last night. Who are they? Knowledge, ignorance, corruption, progress, order, self-destruction. This is turning into a fucking manifesto over here. All right. Um, been sleeping in the lab nothing to come home to what am i doing here what are we really trying to accomplish i must believe that our personal sacrifices serve a greater purpose 
all my fault. 385. Too late. I was so naive. I can't get their faces out of my mind. The screams, the darkness, the hole will never be filled. All dead. All my fault. 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 All dead. All my fault. The words echoed across the metal walls. Ghosts of a past tragedy. What did he do? It must have been terrible. Oh boy. The irony that we're also in a graveyard doesn't escape me. Entry number 621. What a bittersweet feeling. After seven years, we're finally getting stable, repeatable results. Um, but the cost has been great. The output ratio is incredible, but we're only at the beginning. Uh, but we're only just beginning to unlock the potential. In the right hands, this could change the world. This entry is Are we, like, doing later. cold fusion over here? Page is missing. It seems that whatever happened before, he carried on his work long after. As is the case in all Tangled Mysteries, every new piece of evidence raised more questions than it answered. The new lab is nearly operational, but I'm sure, but I'm not sure we are. As always, they'll push it too far, but full output will take years. Perhaps there's still time to make amends for what happened. Safety is top priority, people over progress. So I'm starting to think this journal ends with the author befriending a cube. <laughs> Gosh, I can't English today. No, you're she good. She now knew the purpose of this Caesar sphere this and the name sphere. of the people who had built it. The Council, Council of three. three. It wasn't much to go on, but it was a start. All right, we got all of our stuff. Oh, what's this? Another blank scrap of paper. Let's get the code, baby. Nigel, please stop writing the code down. Memorize it and destroy this immediately. Zazer. 1028. We spooked. We spooked. Please enter authorization code to begin. 1028. Yeah, baby. Code accepted. System authorized and armed for activation. Armed for activation. Thank you for writing that code down, Keen. Now we gotta tap it. We gotta tap it. We gotta tap it. What should I any? Experiment 12, cycle 78. Sphere hermetically sealed. Magnetic transducer coils charging. Accumulating voltaic cells. Commencing experiment 12 91. Oh boy. Just tap it in. Just tap it in. Give it a little tap, tap, tap a boo. Uh oh. Well, this is definitely what's fucking with um power. Oh, okay. That's normal. Normal. Radioactive safety margins cleared. Radioactive safety margins cleared. Procedure 12 completed successfully. Decompressing spherical chamber. Remember, a healthy employee is an effective employee. Please tell me to go take a smoke break. Please leave the station for your mandatory 15 minute smoking break. Yeah! I love that. It's so funny. Does this mean I'm a Power Ranger? I wonder what it did. At least I wasn't covered in plasma. Hi, Geekstronaut. Mandatory? Do I have to smoke too? I think we're at least just gonna go outside. Sans the cigarette. I was thinking a princess of power, hell yeah. Oh, might help if I go down instead of trying to exit a door that doesn't happen. Hi, Death Star Taco, it's good to see you. It's been a hot minute. Leave the tunnel. 